last time, let's go with the defect again and start corralling all these orbs into some ineffable, some ineffable form. So, what do I have? Uh, I can go one path and I would have a chance of having an elite. All of these are chances that I can get the elites dead. And you know what? I'm gonna take the left. I'm gonna take the rightmost into the left path to take this elite's head. Because elites are deadlier, but if I can get one at one health, well, that's just wonderful. Although, eh. Some might argue that this path is better. And I agree. Enemies in next three combats so will only have one health. I'm just gonna hope that I only have two combats at the starting area. Defect. Whenever I channel power, whenever I play a power channel, one lightning, one steam barrier, none of this stuff is good, so I'm just gonna skip it. Okay, good, it's not a fight. I will definitely trigger the trap, and you know what? I can just take the damage. Next battle. Mo money, mo problems. No money, no problems. Um. Sweeping Beam is a decent card, but it's not good enough because the AoE... Uh, you no, know, AoE damage is actually pretty fine early on. Moment of Truth. It's a treasure chest with a molten egg. You know what? I can accept that. Bullseye, apply to Lock On. Lock On receives more damage from orbs. I can take an early genetic algorithm. God. All of these. All of these cards. Storm is not good. Bullseye is interesting, but not great enough. Runic Capacitor would have also been a good, like, relic to have, but I wouldn't have been able to afford it. I'm just gonna take a genetic algorithm. And then I'm just gonna take an attack potion to make the next fight simple. Because I'm gonna go for double elite, because we're gonna be able to kill off all these elites here. The best choice is always removing cards, but I can also get a lot of other things here. Um, whenever I take damage, channel one lightning, not good. Rebound. Plus isn't good, really. I mean, it's one mana deal 12 damage, so I can replay certain cards. I don't have any cards I really want to replay, because Genetic Algorithm gets exhausted, and Zap isn't upgraded. However, Rebound is a good setup card for a lot of things. So, we're going to... no need to heal, we're just going to upgrade. We're going to upgrade Genetic Algorithm, because that'll make it that much better, that much faster. And we're just going to look for every opportunity to be able to play it. So, right now, genetic algorithm, zap. Do I want to just hit him right now? I definitely can. What else am I going to have options for later? It is my best attack, so... I'm sad that I had to do it this way. But yeah, I'll do it. I'm going to drink. Can't afford me. Well, it costs zero this turn. You know what? Rebound. Meteor Strike. So we'll have Meteor Strike pop in at the start of next round, which will give me another Meteor Strike, which will refill all my energy once again, allowing me to beat the ever-living shit out of a log for land. Is he dead? Oh my god, he is. It is always better. And better icons. Oh, that was the most recent patch. Alright. Preserved instinct. Enemies in elite rooms have 25% less HP. Well, I guess we're elite hunting, even though elites are deadlier. Why the fuck not? Give me a... Uh... Because Claw always gets better. Give me a Claw. 
claw. I like claw. Meat on the bone. I can heal even if I, like, screw up severely. Sure, why not? Uh, I will definitely sweep in the room because I want like to... Definitely strike, strike the one mouse, and then right now I'm just looking to see if I can catch myself a little lovely genetic algorithm. That is not the genetic algorithm I was looking for, and this guy is going to die unfortunately anyway. Oh uh, well. Go for the eye. Flies too weak? Sure. Having the ability to drop debuffs on people is always a good thing. Is there anything here that is really... Oh. 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 Oh, baby. Do I want to break the maw bank? But it's an upgraded all for one. Chemical X. It's all for one. And I've already got a zero drop. And I've got ways to get this all for one back in my hand repeatedly. I could just make myself call it. Like, uh. All right. Well, it's gonna break the maw bank instantly. I hate that it breaks the maw bank instantly, but I've got our strategy now. We know what we're doing. I'm just gonna remove a single strike. It is a zero cost deck. This is good enough. None of this is good enough. And we're elite hunting as well because, well, we just have a metric ton of elites to mess with. Uh, we can strike you, which will drop the negative. And I'm going to be taking a ton of damage from this, but you know what? We'll just accept it. We're gonna have to heal up anyway. Um, if only vulnerable didn't do as much of a restore effectively. All right, we definitely have the algorithm. And then you're not weak, so we're going to hit you up, cut your face off, and kill you. All right, I heal. This kill. Oh, sunder, 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 sunder. Did 32 damage with this kills an enemy gain that much energy? Sunder is great late game. If only because it allows me to refresh my stuff. But I think we're going for zero drops, so I want to get my zero drops, so we'll skip it. I don't think I'll be able to ever effectively cast it. I'm going to do a regen potion, so I'm just going to assume I can kill him quite easily. What I really, really want is a zero-cost zap. Alrighty then. 
As a first turn, we are definitely drinking this. We're gonna throw this poison on him. We're gonna throw the vulnerable on him. Do I want to rebound something? I do want to rebound something. So what we're gonna do is put ourselves and rebound a zap into a sweeping beam. To pull the zap back, use the zap and strike him. So we have three of these lightning orbs going off on turn one. Chunking his health to near nil. Oh baby, I'm uh, going to definitely genetic algorithm this to try and survive. What do we have is blue cell and zap. So one for one, as nice as it is, isn't that great? So what, this will block most of the incoming harm? We'll have more opportunities to go for one later, we just kind of want to heal up a little bit. So we're going to claw your face off. Striking and defending. Alright, definitely now can go for the eyes. Definitely can claw. Definitely can cast a strike. Let's play everything. We had a lot of resources that we're going to And so far, things are definitely looking up. We're sweeping beaming because I'm trying to find. Well, I wasn't looking for beam cell, but I found beam cell anyway. Um, sound strike. Yeah, this ghost is gonna die fairly quickly. Zap. All for one, because you know what? Why not? Beam cell. Zap again. Shut Go for the eyes, and he's dead. <sighs> we have a lot of zero drops. However, creative AI is also our good end game option because zero drops, while nice, and aren't always that accessible. And augmenting our powers with this will also be great. Rainbow, while lovely, is just not good enough. So we will definitely take Creative AI. What do we get? Frozen Core replaces Cracked Core. At the end of your... If you end your turn with empty orb slots, channel one Frost. That's interesting, but not great. I guess we're getting the Black Star, because we're elite hunting. I was going to say, why, why am I asking this question? I know we're elite hunting. It's one... It's exactly one. Can I get any more? And is the any more worth my time? I can fight up to three elites. And there's plenty of campfires in between, so we are definitely going to take the left path. And we're just going to gauge how well our combat skills, like, work out here. So we're going to go sell. We're going to offer one? Oh, I'm so sad I couldn't upgrade dual cast in the meantime. I have no reason to upgrade dual cast yet. So I'm just do this. Mostly because I just want to drop this plate of armor as much as I can. Since the Shell Parasite no longer gains his full, like, health and damage or attack or whatever. Ooh, um, this is gonna be interesting. And awkward. And... Claw. Sweeping. Claw. I guess I'll defend to take a little bit less. Because I can't kill him fast enough. This is not the type of enemy you want to face right from the get-go. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Block potion. Uh, none of this stuff is particularly great for me in a zero-cost deck, except maybe charge battery, because I can use it to afford other things. But none of this is that good. I would love Charge Battery Plus, but I'm gonna skip it. You 
too. You're both wonderful. Did you know that? Uh, you're easier to kill, so I'll definitely start hitting you. I think I'm toss my block to just start genetic algorithm. I can my way through this. Alright, I think this is active. No, it's not active. I can't do basic math. Go for the eyes. Yeah, I could apply a week to everyone. That's not how that works. Excuse me, I am a, I am a dunce, don't you know? Fine. I meant to put a week on top. I just apparently neglected to rebound first. I, I'm aware. That's why I called myself out on it, because I was stupid. Creative AI, which is unfortunate, but hey, I think we can't do this anyway. It's basically no harm. She can defend all she wants, but we're gonna offer one, and then hopefully zero cost her to death. Aw, oh, zap. Um, all for one kills her. Yes, perceptually challenged. Streamline is also good for a zero-cost deck. Do I want to go for the question marks, or do I want to go for the guaranteed shot? I'll go for the question marks, because I like question marks. Spin the wheel. Only one real bad... Oh, two bad results. I get injured. That's actually the criminal use a gremlin, but he's simply too quick. It gets you a few times with the cruise ship. The price has been paid, and without both the gremlin and the other spear and a puddle of smoke. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Well, uh, I would love genetic algorithm or all this stuff, but none of this stuff actually really helps my game plan, so it's just gonna be AI from the get go. So I will get dazed. I'm not gonna be able to beat this guy. There's a buffer. Oh, baby. Um, zap. Go for the eyes. Oh, how I would love, love to use buffer right now. But this will help me kill this stuff faster, so we'll zap again, and we'll go for the eyes on the sentry and just defend ourselves. Actually, these guys tend to hurt met like trucks, so I'm just going to use the block potion now. And then here comes Frail. You know, I would really like it if you could just go die in a fire. <sighs> Rebound. Streamline. Claw. Why did you have to hit so hard? I never understood that. use the buffer all those turns ago, but it's the only real way to be effective. I've got Claw in the Grave, right? No, I've got Streamline, so we'll do Go for Eyes. Um, yeah, we'll all for one, pull all this back, go for the Eyes, Beam Cell, and Streamline to kill. I'd love to upgrade recursion, would love to do a lot of things with this stuff, but right now I'm just gonna hologram because it deletes itself from my deck and eventually comes to zero drop, I believe. Can I please heal? <sighs> Interesting choice. Interesting choice. I don't think it's good enough. Because we're not. Well, we are preparing stuff, but at the same time. Most of these elites are just going to destroy us anyway. As much as I love intangible, or apparitions, 
just because they're not upgraded. Like, if they were all upgraded upon acquiring, that would be great. I'm just going to refuse. Alright, first elite. Let's see how bad it is. Oh, it's the worst one. It's the worst one, and these guys are already threatening lethal. There is a way to pull this through. It's not obvious at first. Let's see. Yeah, this is lethal. So I'm going to give this the traditional... I abandoned your run instead of restarting. Sorry, I meant to save and quit like a moron. Ah, oh, well, it was a good run, but it was ruined by just getting hit.